Hey everyone, um, reading in uh, John 6 today, and John 6 is that chapter where Jesus is saying some things, and he keeps repeating over and over again that you need to eat his flesh and drink his blood, and and I, I think his ultimate point there is that um, he is the only way to be saved. It's, he's talking to the Jews, and it's not a religious sacrifice a ritual or anything other than salvation is through him of course we know is the 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 gospel um, but they, they were very confused and I think they probably were not ready to lay down their their uh, their religion and uh, and I think that's but anyway in verse 60 of chapter 6 it says Therefore many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can understand it? And, um, and then it goes on to say, When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, Does this offend you? And um, I thought it was interesting that that, now he's talking to his disciples. I always, for the longest time, I always thought the disciples were just the twelve. But he had many disciples. Right? And it says, so he's talking to them. And in verse 66, it says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. And, um, you know, of course, we know what is so offensive to them. And I'm to, to them. Um, and I'm going to start reading some other, one, some other verses that kind of point to it. Uh, verse 40 says, And this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have everlasting life, and I will raise them up at the last day. No, no, you know, to me, it seems like, it seems like it completely simplified it for them, but so many people aren't ready for just complete trust and surrender into the Savior. They would rather earn their way. Don't, right? I mean, don't you think? I think that's why you see so many people that that don't leave a religion that, that they know has got false teaching and they get settled into a church and and people know them and and they they feel important or feel like they belong and and they just don't want to leave even though they may be convicted that they're under false teaching or under a religion that is false. And I think that's what's happening here is it you know, and, and I could be wrong about that. I'm just it just some of the things that came into my head today as I read. But so in verse 44 it says, "No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day." So the Holy Spirit convicts. The Father draws to the Son, and the Son raises him up. It's all a work of God, the Triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are the ones that get all the glory and, and everything. They don't, we don't account for a thing, right? And, um, you know, people don't like to hear that. Um, so Philippians 1.29, For to you it has been granted on behalf of Christ that not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. And Ephesians 2 8 says, For by great by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. And back to John 6 again in 63, it says, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. Okay, so Jesus asked him a big question. Now the other disciples, many of them we just heard left. And they followed him no more. They didn't say they came back later and got, came to their senses. It says they followed him no more. Okay. So Jesus in, in verse 67 says, then, then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? And in verse 68, Simon Peter says this, But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Verse 69, Also, we have come to believe 
and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. It's the same answer to a different question, a bigger question, back in Matthew 16. So Matthew 16, 15 to 17 says, He said to them, but, but who do you say that I am? Jesus asks this to them, right? And again, it's Simon Peter. That's the one that speaks up. He pipes up right away and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Check this out now. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for the flesh and the blood has not, not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So again, like we've talked about before, the gospel is logical and reasonable, but you cannot receive it through logic and reason. It's Jesus said it right there to Simon, Simon Peter. He said, blessed are you for flesh and blood, logic and reason, put your own thing in there, it's up, you know, whatever you want, your own intelligence, your own ability to figure things out. No, no. Flesh and blood does not reveal the gospel, the truth of the gospel to you. What does Jesus say? But my Father who is in heaven. God bless you all. See ya.